Running after a Chinese takeout is great in a pinch and there's a place for that. But tonight, we're gonna make it at home and we're gonna do it using the best quality beef. Mongolian beef is an absolute takeout classic and you're really going to impress making it at home. It's thinly sliced certified Angus beef flank steak, flash fried until lightly crisp and tossed in a sweet and tangy sauce loaded with ginger and garlic. It's a family dinner that will be met with loads of praise, I promise. Of course, starting with the best beef, I have a whole certified Angus beef flank steak here and I start by making thin, long slices just like this. This helps achieve the perfect thinness for the deep frying that we're gonna do later. Using certified Angus beef flank steak for this recipe ensures the tenderness that the beef needs for the deep frying process to come later. Into a large bowl with room to toss, add in the soy sauce. Okay, so a little science here. I'm adding baking soda in next, and what that does is it helps with better browning. The baking soda raises the alkaline level in the beef and the Maillard reaction, which is what browning is, loves high alkaline levels. Give it a really good toss and throw it in the fridge. More on that later. Run your knife through some beautiful green onions and keeping the pieces on the larger side because we're gonna fry these later. And of course, fresh ginger is something that you must have for this recipe. I use a spoon to easily scrape away the outer layer and then use my knife to break it down into a fine mince. As well as a few potent cloves of fresh garlic, also taking these down to a fine mince. And all of this can sit in the same bowl off to the side until we're ready for frying. And now let's prep the liquid part of our sauce. Everything goes into one bowl, which is the beauty of prepping this ahead of time soy sauce, hoisin, brown sugar, water and vinegar. And if you don't happen to have hoisin on hand, you can find any of this in the ethnic foods aisle at your local grocery store. Whisk all of this together and really help that sugar dissolve and just set it aside for now. Next, hit your sliced beef with all of that cornstarch and toss it with your fingers to thoroughly coat each piece. It's really important to pay attention to really coating that beef. Dump the coated beef onto a baking sheet and let it sit for 10 minutes. This allows the cornstarch to really grab onto the beef pieces, which will make for a perfectly even, crisp coating. In a large wok, heat your oil over medium-high heat. I'm using canola oil here, and also, if you don't have a wok, you can use a large cast iron skillet. Working in batches, as to not crowd the pan, lightly fry the beef until crisp, which will take about four to five minutes, flipping halfway through. Make sure to give your pan a shake here and there, just to be sure that nothing's sticking to the bottom, and using a spider spoon or a slotted spoon, move straight onto a clean baking sheet lined with paper towels to help soak up any extra oil. Allow the oil to cool enough to pour it into a heat-proof container and give your pan a quick wipe. Heat about two tablespoons or so of that reserved oil and move your pan back over, bring everything back up to medium-high heat and add in the garlic, green onion, and ginger and stir fry until nice and fragrant. That will take about two to three minutes. Stir in your preferred amount of red chili flake and keep vigorously stirring. Next, in goes that sauce that we prepped earlier and get everything nice and coated and happy and let it reduce for just two to three minutes. Once you see it start to thicken slightly, in goes that crispy beef. Get everything beautifully coated and into that ultra fragrant sauce and serve it up with some white rice. That beef is so satisfying. This is absolutely worth doing at home. See you next time in the test kitchen.